Got it. Huh. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're all rested up from the last hunt. Now, Jack, you're the only one of us who's actually been to prison. Yes. So when the Missouri State Penitentiary came across my desk, I funneled it straight to you. Thank you, Jeffrey. Now, the Missouri State Penitentiary is one of the oldest and most violent prisons in America, and also now it's one of the most haunted. Known as the Walls, the Missouri State Penitentiary received its first prisoners in 1836. At its peak, the Walls held over 5,300 inmates. It closed in 2004, housing inmates like the boxer Sonny Liston and even James Earl Ray. But even though the inmates are gone, it remains occupied by the ghosts of the violent, riotous criminals who stayed there. In 1954, there was actually a violent riot. There were four prisoners died, lots of buildings got burned, and it gave the place the nickname of the bloodiest 47 acres in America. Where'd the prisoners get fired? They probably rubbed two snitches together. Well, it's funny you mentioned snitching, though, because there actually was a prisoner that was known for snitching. And during the riot, another prisoner showed up with a sledgehammer and killed him with it. A prisoner? Yeah. Had a oh, sledgehammer. Where'd he get a sledgehammer? A security guard, uh, I think everybody's getting sledgehammers on the way in. Can I got mine, please? I was issued my cot and my pillow and my underwear, but no sledgehammer. <laughs> Jeremy, where would you hide that in your prison cell? It's gonna be really hard to shove that up your ass. Nature's pocket does not expand that much. I bet you'd be a pretty stiff walker if you had to hide one of those puppies. If they're trying to bring in that sledgehammer, they could maybe bake it into a cake, but it's a sledgehammer. Would it not be like super phallic shape? Yeah, is it not that they would lay it down, but that it would be standing up. And then... Can I get some help bringing this tall cake in? It weighs 20 pounds for some reason. We were talking about the general population there. Let me tell you about where the most violent prisoners go. They go to a place called The Hole. The Hole is actually a medieval torture dungeon. They stacked prisoners 15 deep in this place, drug them up. They wouldn't feed them for like weeks at a time and just keep them in darkness until they lost their mind. Well, they fed them drugs. Yeah, it's a really weird backward situation where the bigger asshole you are, the more drugs you get. They were called bobbleheads. They would start going crazy. Well, it's funny that like, you know, back then the hole had been torture, but now that's just an EDM concert, right? They are probably seeing unicorns and shit. <laughs> it was awesome in there. Have fun in your prison cell. I'll be on a pirate ship. <laughs> See ya. I think they like shouted shit in there to try and make suggestions. Okay, you're all unicorns. Dance for me. <laughs> you give those guys a candy pacifier and a glow <laughs> stick and they're, yeah. It's like guards just like tossing people in and breaking glow sticks, throwing down rings. There's one stop left on the Missouri State Penitentiary tour. Is it a gift shop? It's the gas chamber. In 1937, the gas chamber was built by inmates using stone from the prison court. From 1938 to 1965, the gas chamber was used to execute 39 prisoners. One of those executed was Bonnie Hetty, who brutally kidnapped and killed a six-year-old son of a multi-millionaire. Do you think if you were a prisoner building that, you would include like a Death Star-esque yeah, port you could... Yeah. <laughs> There's a poster. Behind the poster is a tunnel. You're going to crawl into there. Through a river of shit. <laughs> well, that sounds like uh, quite a bit of hauntable stuff to investigate. Oh, yeah. I guess we should get to it. I'm ready.